you who don't know me. <laughs> No, I just um, wanted to say that Diane was such a huge influence in my life, especially as a young woman, in regards to learning how to sew and craft, as you well know. And for those of you who don't know, she made my wedding dress when I got married. Did you not know that? I didn't know that. Oh, yes. Right? Yes, she did, and then took much of that fabric and that lace and made several things for Rachel, right? Yes. So I just wanted to just really appreciate you today and tell you how much I love you. And I'm going to tell you how much I love you in another language. That's a help. Whoa. So my dearest mama, you taught me to love art, opera, dance, music, passion, enthusiasm. You brought me further than I thought I could have come, and I so appreciate you. Thank you. It got way too heavy. I know, so you need to lighten it up. So, Mom, yes. you threatened me with a fly swatter and a hairbrush. No, you weren't born yet. That was the other thing. <laughs> No, you did. And one, of, and one of the greatest days in my life was when I realized I could outrun you. <laughs> and I got away from you. So, okay, that's one story. Here's number two. This is a moment that uh, is indelible in my brain. Is when I came in and... Remember, we had the costume trunk. Oh, I remember the costume trunk. And, and I had I had dressed up, and I don't remember what the outfit was, but it was something. And this is at the house in Cass Street, and uh, I had gone up to Sally in my costume, and I said, "Tell me about the birds and bees." And you got that. You got that little look on your face. And, no, no, you said go. Go ask mom that. <laughs> and I came to you and I said, tell, and I thought I was being very funny. And I said, tell me about the birds and bees. And you said, oh, you don't know? <laughs> and you took me. Five children. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you can't remember who you <laughs> Okay, you took me into the living room. It was dark. You held my hand. I was in a leopard outfit. <laughs> and you told me in graphic detail <laughs> from conception to birth canal <laughs> everything about the birds and bees. <laughs> And I still am horrified. <laughs> and I love you. I love you. You have taught me so much. My earliest memory, I was about three, and I was wearing a party dress. Fashion. All my fashion sets comes from my mother. I'd fallen asleep and woken up and I was upset because it was all wrinkled and messed up. And that was my that's my first my first memory. My second memory. You taught me um, to ha have a, a well, I think this may be more genetic, to have a very high pain threshold. Because I remember the first time you slapped my legs and I didn't cry. We spent about four or five front porch of the Cass Street house. And I was so proud of myself. It hurt. <laughs> and I didn't cry. That's Dana. Yeah. Yeah. That's Dana. Yeah. That's so awesome. And she's probably six. <laughs> you taught me that sweet combination of perseverance and obstruence. I remember being about eight years old and asking you, what does the word chutzpah mean? And you told me, and I'll never forget, in the studio, in the River Roadhouse. And I wrote a poem about it. What? 
Obstinance and perseverance, all, all wrapped up into one. Oh, good job, Mom. From you. You taught me that there's no outfit that can't be made better with a good belt and some shoulder pads. You taught me shoulder pads. How to cook. Some of the early days were kind of the turkey bologna, American cheese, Wonder Bread, a few seconds in the microwave. But you had me eating artichokes and morel mushrooms when I was six. You taught me how to how how to cook a fillet on the stove with a little bit of butter, right? So it gets that good crust on it. How to how to saute mushrooms? I was twelve years old. So everything culinary comes from you. And you also taught me that there's nothing more important than your health. And that there's nothing that a 30-minute nap at 2 p.m. will fix. Amen. 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 That's my philosophy as well. Obviously, our our uh, our interaction is a little bit different than the, the rest of the children, and uh, more of a, an accident. I never hit you. <laughs> that, that is not that is not factual. That's, that, that's, that's an alternative fact, as we say. No, it. it Fake news. Yeah, yeah, no, you, you did. <laughs> but it was inconsequential, so I don't think it really matters. All right, so. I, no person in my life has had a bigger impact on my life. Obviously, the trajectory of my of my upbringing, of where I would have otherwise ended up, uh, no one had a bigger impact in my life than you did. And I'm uh, forever grateful. Three minutes later, like Dana's, I'll be sitting way back there. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Diane, when I learned all the things you did, that you designed your own home, that you, uh, you know, have been painting all of your life. I thought, this is the kind of woman that I respect, I, I recognize, I think is such a wonderful, powerful creature, especially back when you were a young woman, because they didn't do that back then. But the, my favorite story about you how old were you when we moved into your house on, uh, oh, okay. in Omaha? Oh, in Rock, I was 80. 80. 80. Yeah. We moved into her house, and um, the cat was freaking out. Our cat always freaks out. Tom, he's now long gone, but he was freaking out, and um, you wanted to see the cat. And the cat was hiding behind the washer and dryer. So guess what Diane did? No. She crawled right up on top of the washer driver and peeked down on the <laughs> to see the cat. And I thought, I hope to be this kind of woman of 80. Thank you so much for being that person in my life. I love you. I love you very much. And I am so happy that in my adult life, we've had so much time to hang out for you to take me shopping <laughs> and play I'll never quit. <laughs> I know. I heard the nasty things you said about my co over there. Let's we'll see. We'll see. We can... And one of my favorite memories we have is when we went shopping for my wedding dress. Yes. Yes. And we went with my best man and maid of honor and afterwards we went and we had Panera across the street remember and you had us completely enthralled with all the stories you were telling of when you were a teacher and bringing up everybody and I just love that you you were able to share the love you have for me with my friends, and it's endless. You're my favorite grandma. I love you. I love you. Picture.